everyone, this is Pedro again in Virginia. Little bright day today, better than the rain that we had yesterday. I hope it's a bright day for you there too. If not, I hope this video brings you some joy. Um, so thank you for working out together with me. Today's class is about posture. So let's start by standing up with your feet parallel, um, a little um, narrower than your hip distance. So you, you want to have your feet under your sit bones. Okay, my hip is this, this wide and my feet are this wide now. Now let's lift the toes off the mat and spread them and then put it down. Now lift the toes off and then down. Just two more, lift it off and then down. Last one, lift it off and then down. Hold your toes down. Now go fall on your feet, so you shift your weight forward and then shift back to center and now shift back and come back to center. Shift the weight forward, back to center, shift back, back to center. One more on each, lean forward, shifting your weight forward and center and now back and center. Let's shift right, center, shift left. And shift again right and then left. Make sure you're breathing and you're relaxed. And take this time for you. Now let's do little circles and shifting the weight on your feet. So you pretend that your head is a paintbrush and you're going to paint a circle on the ceiling. So let's go right and then from right go forward, left, back. Again, right, forward, left, back, and then go to center. Now let's go left, forward, right, and back, and again, left, forward, right, and back, and come back to center. Nice. Now let's go to the top of the mat. So you have the mat behind you, and you're going to roll down your spine. Now inhale right here at the bottom, bend your knees, and let's stay down here for two breaths. Have your knees lightly bent. Then one more breath. Bend your knees even more and put your hands down on the mat, open. Now step back with your right foot, and then put your right knee down. And then step with your left foot, and put your left knee down. So you're in an all four position. And then you're going to tilt your pelvis, bringing your pubic bone toward your forehead and your forehead to the pubic bone, creating a flexion of the spine, really rounding your spine. Now you're going to do the reverse of this. So you're going to bring your pelvis up to the ceiling, open your chest and think about your breastbone going forward between your arms. And then if you want to connect the back of your head, to the back of your pelvis, extending your spine. And again, let's round in flexion and your pubic bone goes over your forehead, your forehead to the pubic bone. And you're rounding like a rainbow. And then you're going to extend and do like a smile shape. Happy smile shape. And it will help if you also smile. And make sure you're breathing, you exhale as you round flexing the spine, and inhale as you extend. And two more, let's round as you exhale. Inhale, extend. And then last one now, exhale, round. And inhale, extend. And let's go to neutral, where you're neither in round, you know, in flexion or extension. And let's go with your pelvis to the right and to the left, as if you're wagging the tail. You see, I'm going right and left. Right, happy tail, right? And then left, one on each, go right and then left, and then come back to center. Now let's extend your right leg back, and you're extending on the hip 
using your glutes and your hamstring of the right leg. Now your left arm will go overhead. And then everything comes back down. Now left leg will extend back. And then your right arm overhead. And everything back down. Right leg back, left arm overhead, everything down, left leg back, right arm overhead, and everything down. We're going to stay with the right leg up now. So right leg up, stay up, left arm overhead, stay with the left arm up. So right leg will go out to the side and then back to center. Again, right leg will go out, back to center, one more. Right leg go out and back to center. Pull your right leg down, your left arm down. Now the left leg will extend back. Nice, so the left leg is parallel to the floor, up, right? And then your right arm overhead. Now the left leg will go out to the side, back to center. Left leg go out, back to center, just three more. And then two. Last one, and put everything down, nice. Now let's have your right hand behind your neck. And I'm going to open my chest to you, and I look at you and say hi, and I return and I look down. Again, I'm going to open to you, and I return back down one more, I'm opening to you, and return down. Now let's do the left. Left hand behind the neck, I'm going to open to the yours, and then down, hello. Open to the yours, and hello, day. And last one, say hi to the bright sky, and then back down, nice. Now let's lie down on our side. So I'm lying down on my left side, with the left arm bent, and my head on top of the left arm. My knees are uh, bend forward like in a chair position in front of me and I'm going to extend my right leg and really reach my right foot to create a space between my last rib, my lower rib, and the mat. And now I'm going to lift the top leg up and then lower and tap the mat. When I lift it up, the hinge is happening on the side of the hip rather than the waist. So the, diff, the distance between my pelvis and my ribs try to remain the same. And as I lift my leg, I'm hinging at the hip. And I lift it up. We need five more from 10. And then four. Just three more left of the left, right leg. Two. Last one, I'm going to hold up the leg and do little circles. As if, I, again, I want to paint a circle, but this time with my toes. And then 10 circles back, down, forward, up, back, down, forward, up. Don't forget to smile. And of course, to breathe. Just three more in this direction. And now two, and last one. Let's circle the other direction. Go back, up, forward, and down. Back, up, forward, and down. And we need 10 in this direction, so we need five more. And just breathing throughout the movement. And just four, three, and last one. Nice. Now let's extend the bottom leg. So the legs are one on top of the other. So now move them slightly forward on the mat. So in an angle. And then from here, I'm going to lift both legs together and then lower. I'm big lifting them together and lower. Just two more. Lift them together. Lower. Last one. Lift them together. And then lower. Nice. Now roll to your belly. And put your hands one on top of the other. With your elbows wide. And your forehead is going to go right on top of your hands. 
slide your shoulders down the back and press your forearms and hands down on the mat to lift your breastbone off the mat and then lower. So you're lifting your head and then your breastbone and then you lower. When you do that, you're extending the upper part of your spine, the thoracic spine, and lower. Just three more, press down to lift the head and then the breastbone. And two more, slide your shoulders off the back. Inhale as you come up with the chest. Nice. And last one, slide your shoulders down the back. Lift your head and up with your chest and hold up. Now, try to hover your arms off the mat. Now put it down and then lower your chest. Nice, come up with head and then chest, keeping your shoulders relaxed. Now keep breathing as you hover your arms off the mat. Put everything down and return. Again, press your hands down to help your head and chest up. Keep breathing as you hover your arms off the mat, lifting them up. Then you put it down and lower. One more. You're going to press down to come up. Nice. Stay up with your chest as you hover your arms off the mat. And then return. Now we're going to do the side line on the other leg. So I'm going to turn the other way so I can look at you. I'm lying down my right side, my right arm is bent under my head, and the legs are bent in front of me. I'm going to extend the left leg and reach. I'm going to lift the left leg up and then lower, lifting it up and lower. The hinge is happening at the hip. I have the little space between my lower rib and the mat and the space between my hip bone and my ribs remain the same. Then we need five more and then four, just three more now and two. Last one, hold up and let's do little circles with the leg. So go forward up back and down, forward, up, back and down. We need 10 circles, so we need seven more. Sete, oito, oops, I mean cinco, quatro, três, dois, and last one. Let's do the other direction. Go forward, down, back and up forward, down, back, and up. Nice. If you smile, it makes it easier. If you breathe, it definitely makes it easier and better, right? So let's keep breathing. We need five more in this direction. Back, up, forward, down, back, up, forward, down. Just three more now. And then two, last one, nice. Now extend the bottom leg and then shift it forward and then lift both legs and then lower. Lift both legs and lower, again lift and then lower, lift, hold lifted and hold. You should feel on your side working and then carefully put it down. Nice. Again, lie down on your belly. I love doing extension. We don't do enough of it. We do everything forward, we forget about the back of the body, right? So let's do a little bit of the back of the body. But this time, your head's going to stay down. For now, you're going to bring your right, um, sorry, bring your right foot into your glute, and then flex your right foot, and then lift your right thigh tie off the mat just a little bit. You're going to feel the back of your uh, right leg and your right glute and then put it down. Lift up as if you want to stamp your foot up in the ceiling and then lower. Lift it up 
Try to keep your pelvis down the mat and just lift your thigh off. Just two more now. I'm working on my right back of my thigh and glute. Last one, hold up. And then place the leg down. Let's do the second leg. Bend your left leg, flex your left foot. And you're going to lift the thigh off the mat and then low. Lift it off and low. Lift it off. Just five more now. I'm extending the hip using my hamstring and glute. And then four. Just three more. And two. Nice. Last one. Perfect. Place it down. Put your hands under your shoulders and go to all fours. And then to child's pose. Let's stay in child's pose just for two breaths. And enjoy this moment for one more breath. Then we're going to do a plank, but I want to do an elbow plank. So your forearms are on the mat and your hands are widespread. Now step back with your left foot and then with your right foot. And you are in a plank position. Now lift your right foot up and lift the right leg up and then place it down. Lift your left off and then point and lift the leg up and now place it down nice put your right knee down put your left knee down and go back to child's pose we're going to do that again so now you know what to expect right let's go to the plank in a elbow plank left leg back right leg back i'm going to lift my left leg first and i'm going to place it down and then the right and place it down and put everything down and go back to child's pose. Now the next time we're going to stay there and do three times with each leg, okay? Come back in the plank, in the elbow plank, right leg down, left leg down. If this is too much for you, you can put your knees down like I have right now and just lift one leg up and then the other leg and you can do the full plank lift the left and then the right you can be with the knee down lift the left and then the right it's your choice it's your battle let's do one more each lift the left and lift the right nice so knee down knee up both are valid right Whichever you can do today. You can do what you have today, not what you have tomorrow, right? So we're going to do a little bit of side plank. Again, in the side plank, you can have um, your knee down or your knee up. So side plank with knee down looks like this, okay? Side plank with knee up looks like this. So. You want to choose, go ahead and try both. I'm giving you a little time to try both. You can choose your battle today. So I'm choosing knee up. I feel strong today. So I'm choosing knee up. I'm going to keep my uh, lower leg is behind me and my top is in front. Do you see that? I'm crossing in front. I'm going to lift the top leg and then lower tap the mat. Lift. Lower tap, just one more lift. Lower tap and put everything down. Nice. Roll the rest <laughs> and let's do the other side. Again, whatever you chose on the first side, you must choose on the second. Knee down or knee up. When you have knee up, you cross the bottom leg behind. The top leg is in front, okay? Now let's lift the top leg, which is my right, and then down. Again, lift, and down, just two more. And last one, nice. And then you're going to go kneeling. Kneeling up, facing me. Now I'm going to shift my pelvis to my right, 
and my arms to my left as if I want to sit to my on my right heel and then I come back to center. I'm going to shift my pelvis to the left and my arms to the right and then back up to center. Shift pelvis to the right, arms left, chest left and I look down to the mat and I inhale, come back up to center. Now pelvis left, shoulders and arms right. I look down to the mat, rotating to the right, and then back to center again. Hip to one side, shoulders to the other, back up, hip to one side, shoulders to the other, and then back up. Now I step forward with one foot, so you're in a kind of in a lunge position. Take your toes on the, on the back foot. Stay in this direction, I'm going to turn so you can see me better. You see my back foot has a to toes under, right? And I'm going to press against my right foot, the foot that is in front, and then pull my, uh, push on my um, left toes to come back up. That was magical, right? I'm going to step back and slowly lower. If you did the balance class with me, we did down the balance class. One more like that. Press down on your right foot and then come up. Your magical lift. And then step back. Slowly lower. Let's the other side. My right toes are tucked under. The left leg is forward. I'm going to press against my left foot to come back up and step back. Then slowly lower again. Press on my left foot and up and then down, slowly lower and now we're going to stay up. Let's press up, stay up and I hope you enjoyed this class that was really good for your posture, um, if you want upright ideally, right? And I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye bye!